Hey guys, it's Lucas from Spook Luke Productions, and today I'm here to talk to you about this new app called Cycloramic. It was featured on Shark Tank this past Friday, in which the sharks were amazed. They turned on one another, and in the end, Mark Cuban and Lori Greiner made a deal. It's become the number one paid app in the App Store. I won't get into explaining it just yet, I think I should show you what it does first. And there you go, the iPhone is moving by itself, without me touching it. Using the compass mechanism and vibration, the phone is able to spin around by itself. It basically is taking a panoramic picture without you touching the phone. Alright, now it's stitching the images and it has to put the picture together, which is a process that takes about 30 seconds. It's it's quite long um, compared to, you know, other panoramic apps, but I, I find it that, you know, it's worth it. And now it's made it into a video. Amazing. You can watch it, play it back, it's, it's just, it's great. It also automatically saves that video in your camera roll, which I find convenient. And there it is again, there's the video. Another great thing about this app is that you can now share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, but as a video and not some long strip photo that no one can see. And the panoramic picture is also saved in the app itself, and every photo you take with the app will be stored right there. You can change the res resolution from HD to 4X HD, which I think means it has 40 megapixels or something, which is huge, and you can change it from guided to hands-free. Now the hands-free option is only available for the 5 and 5S, not the 4 or 4S. You see that you can change the video mode, which I'll do next. And regular photo mode. What you saw before was a panoramic picture. This time I'm changing the settings for it to take an actual video. You can change the speed of how fast it spins, or how much you want it to rotate. You can also flip to front-facing camera, or change it to HD. Alright, so let's take a video. But once again, hands-free is only for the 5 and 5S, which is a bit of a bummer. And there you go, it's spinning again. Very, very, very cool. Alright, so it's finished filming, and it has been saved to the iPhone's library. For some reason, the videos aren't stored in the app, they're only stored in your camera roll. And, uh, yeah, there it is. The app also has a bunch of cool features that are both for the fives and the fours, like taking a normal picture and making it panoramic. And uh, there you have all your settings, and you can gift the app, rate it, connect with the company, and all that jazz. So yeah, it's a pretty cool app, but you realize how I placed the phone on an extremely smooth or glassy surface? There were many times when I placed the phone on another surface and it wouldn't move at all. Or, or would crash, or would just completely fall over altogether. Luckily, it fell on its back, and not the front. It may have cracked if it fell on the front, though. So it's unreliable in a way, but technology has only gotten so far. There are two versions of this app. Uh, one version that's $1.99, and the other, which is the one I have, which is $2.99. But right now, it's discounted, but the usual price is $2.99. I don't really know the difference between the two. Not to end on a bad note, it's just, if you want it to spin, you're going to have to take the phone out of its case. And I have a life proof, and you know how long that could take. Still, I rate the app a 4 out of 5, and I definitely think it's worth buying. Alright guys, see you later. Ciao.